Hey everybody, just wanted to do a little update video. I finally got in my replacement parts for Mazmora. I was waiting on one of my Kickstarter exclusive figures as well as some dice. And I uh, just wanted to update since uh, they did do a good job in replacing them for me. It took them a little while, but they had to fulfill all their orders and stuff first. And I don't know how well it's going to come out on camera here. Can't really tell how well it's going to come out on the camera there, but you can see the new die on the left, the old blurry one on the right. Some of the pictures are worse than others. Bit more noticeable on that one, I think, but again, it's hard to tell on the camera. But in person, there's definitely a noticeable difference. And again, those ones are considerably different. That I can even tell looking through the camera, so that one you should be able to see pretty good. But, uh, Took them a while to get them sent out, but they did set it right. The other one I had a problem with was my Therion figure from the uh, Kickstarter exclusives. You can see in the front there, he's missing the uh, front and back to his little robe. And they actually sent it in this cool blister. I don't know if that means they're going to sell figures in those at some point. They're way easier to open than the stupid ones that normally come with those. Won't really focus on there, but you can see he's got the little cloth that hangs down in the front and the back that we're missing on the original. So, he's turned out to be one of my favorite characters for both Masmora and Arcadia Quest. And, uh, I was getting annoyed that he was missing parts, so I finally got him as well. Anyway, just a quick update. We've played tons of games of Masmora now. I do like it. I kind of like the standard mode better than the co-op. I thought I would like the co-op better, but I kind of like to take that aspect of the cards in the uh, normal mode. We do play Epic a lot just because it's fun to get farther down into the dungeon. And um, the only thing it really lacks, I wish there were more dungeon tiles. There's not really that much of a variety of tiles, so the same rooms tend to come up a lot. Especially in lower player count games, if you're playing a three-player game, it's extremely rare to get a large room, which is kind of strange. I like the large rooms. They got all the bosses in them and the cool stuff, and those are the ones you want to find. And when you're playing with lower player counts, there are less of those rooms. I'm almost getting to the point where I want to keep the extra tiles in. They're later labeled on the back with uh, player counts, and I thinking I want to start keeping in the ones for the larger rooms regardless of the player count. It makes the stairs harder to find, but it also brings up those larger rooms more often. Anyway, that was just a quick little update, and uh, thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you in the next video.